writing a song, um, and I've been thinking about it a lot lately because I've been trying to write some new stuff. I'm kind of listening for a sound that I really like. So if I come upon a sound, then I try and write something around that. And I try not to layer too much. I try and write a structured song. I think I tend to write a traditional kind of a pop song structure, like a verse, chorus, bridge, and chorus, whatever. Um, I'm trying to expand on that a little bit and take it a little farther. But um, I mean, I'm hoping I can do that. Um, but I kind of lean towards doing something simple. I like short pieces. I like short sets. I think it all comes from the type of music I like, like punk rock. I like powerful music that kind of makes a statement, and so those kind of songs I think tend to be pretty concise. Uh, my uh, friend Ben Beyer, uh, about five, more than five years ago, Ben uh, was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, and he's made he made a documentary about it. And I um, hadn't been in touch with him for a while, and we reconnected, and it turns out he needed to substitute music he had put in the movie already, pop, various pop songs and classical pieces that he didn't have licensing for. So he asked me if I would either do arrangements of it or come up with my own stuff. So um, I've pretty much done everything. I have one piece left, but um, um, it was a challenge because he had very definite ideas in mind, and pieces were already, in fact, there. In fact, there was one piece, um, a beautiful piece, during a really intense scene in the movie where he's having surgery. Um, by um, It's a Beth Orton covering a song called It's Not the Spotlight, and it's just perfect. And I wrote a song, I t actually took a song I had already written, and I expanded it, and had my friend Ted Cho play it on guitar, and then I wrote a melody over it. Um, but it didn't really quite work, even after like working on it for a month, it didn't quite fit. So actually I think Jason's going to sing a cover of the song. <laughs> Damn! A number of the songs I did for the film are more, they're not Helen Money songs, I wouldn't say. They're more kind of pretty and more cello-y. Um, so it called for just putting a mic on the amp so it sounds like a real cello. But this is the song that it, um, I, re I wrote it, it was like a two minute song I write. This was the original version. Let's see. Um. did was I had to make it uh, longer and so I thought well maybe I'll make it more turn it into a chord uh, turn it into like That's what I did. So I just made each section a little bit longer and made them into more definite chords and then played a melody over it. So it was interesting. It worked out really well. It forced me to go back and take a song and rework it, which I don't really do. I have a Roland Porter studio that I do all my demos on. I just kind of do what I need to do to record it. For this, what I did, I would record it on my Porter studio, then put it in Pro Tools and send Ben an MP3 and see if he liked it. And then if he liked it, then um, I'd know I was done, and then when I had a bunch of stuff together, I actually went into the studio with my friend Dave Sycott, who recorded my album with me, and he put some mics on the cello, and then we would record it. Sometimes we would record um, stuff through the amp, depending on what the song sounded like. 